Hello guys, uh, welcome back to Traha Global, new update of February preview with uh, two new coupon codes and also there is a new class coming, so let's see, they had on their official YouTube uh, this video, so let's Hello check. Again, it is GM Luana. Today I come to you with a summary of this month's updates. First, we'll recap the new stuff from the update on February 1st. And then we'll give you a preview of the goodies coming on the 15th. We'll be giving you a coupon code at the end of this video. So there are two coupon in addition, codes. There's a second coupon code that I'll be sharing in this video, yeah. but I'm not telling you where, so you'll just have to watch the whole thing to find it. Yeah, do that. Ha -ha. Community engagement. No, this is not the coupon. Code. So, <laughs> the big addition on February 1st was the new raid, Frozen Frost Bloom Garden. By the way, guys, a lot of you guys have already had the chance. Did you manage to get this one? Yeah, I got it like three times already with my guildmates. Uh, the 110 CP. I didn't got any tier four. I got one tier three and one tier one. And uh, yeah, the rest I got the materials to craft the tier four. Um, so the so there are some simple mechanics you're gonna see in this video. To defeat this one. Check it so out. Those three mechanics are very important. I think we can important. all agree that the boss, Ice Queen Nipa, is no pushover. The mechanics of this fight leave pretty much no room for error. So yeah, it's really important that if you don't do those mechanics, guys, it's white. So you lose. If you haven't had a chance yeah, to try out the fight yet, there are lots of helpful videos on YouTube made by other creators that explain the okay, mechanics. Okay, so here are so the mechanics, guys. I just stop so you can see. So one of the mechanics, guys. When you see the bub, the circle, the orange circle around somebody, everybody has to come in that circle, okay? So from time to time, the boss will put an orange circle about uh, around one of you. And when you see that, all of you have to come in that sink circle, okay? So join that uh, guy that has the circle. That's the first mechanic. The second one, when you see the message for the crystal uh, the crystal attack aoe attack from the boss everybody has to spread spread okay so you have to run away from each other don't stay in the same spot if not it's wipe so run away from everybody okay so spread or across the the map okay and the third where most of us we failed is the golem guys so when the golem comes out you will see an arrow, okay, one of you will have the ar arrow, if you have the arrow, okay, on yourself, and in order to see the arrow, you have to uh, hide the title, I think, or something like that, I'm not sure, me, I see the arrow, so if you see the arrow on your, on top of your uh, name or your character, okay, you are the person that have to run away from the golem, if you don't run away, it's wipe, while the other the tank should definitely still focus on the boss uh, and the dps should kill the dps should kill the golem so the people that do dps kill as fast as possible the golem so that's that's where most of the players were failing with the golem so golem golem will spawn usually uh, around two or three times when the boss has like i think uh, half bar or 75 something like that so when you see the golem guys and you see it, the arrow run like crazy, okay? And another thing, sometimes you get a debuff, okay? A debuff, usually the tanks would get that, uh, where you don't get heals. If you get that debuff, run away also, okay? So that's why it's good to have two tanks. One, if one uh, gets that, uh, the other one should uh, get the aggro from the boss, okay? While the other one is running in case he got that debuff where he cannot get heals. That debuff lasts for one minute. So it it will go away, but you have to run. If not, you'll you'll die. Okay. Okay, so now let's go back. So those are the best uh, the very end. Also, I told you try to have <coughs> get the traits that gives you more HP. So you want to have more HP so you won't die as fast. And some decent uh, healers with um, healing power above like uh, 13,000 something like that 11,000 uh, no actually more I know 15,000 I'm not sure because I'm not a healer but decent healing power is very 
uh, important. If not, you might die because you need lots of healing. Okay. So you'll be prepared. Now for the new stuff. New class, new class. Okay, so there is yes, a new class finally, coming, guys. It's here. Yes. I told you. In the patch on the By the way, I have a video. Uh, I posted like I don't know about one more than one month, like two months ago, with the, this class that uh, on Korea. Okay, so you can check that video. It's my on my channel. If you want to see some gameplay, <coughs> gameplay some of the skills. So that's the class that's Finally, coming on 15. So in two days. Okay, so here you can see, and it's not gender lock, guys. As you know, in this game, once they release a class, it's not gender lock, which is good. So you can build a male, female, a buff male, a slim male, whatever you want. You guys are gonna love this class. So it's, it's all about zooming the sword. Splicing, it looks like a some katana, samurai. So it'll be a cool technical class that you can't just face roll to success with. It also just looks yeah, see? so it cool, looks so cool. Watch in action. Samurai. Tring, tring. Quite strong attacks, as you can I see, 150 guys, 150k, and also 20,000 heal. So, oh, this is 650,000 crit or 65,000? This is 650k, that's insane. And check the heal, definitely, the heal is not from the potion, it's from the skill 20,300. Oh my gosh. So this class might be quite quite okay. I can't give you too many details yet, but I'm confident See? that you guys will have a great time with oh it. Oh my god. Because I sure am. This patch will also it has have some, some very powerful quality of life like to fix some issues that, that you guys have brought damage. up in the past. So hopefully these fixes will address these concerns. Yeah, so interrupt your regularly I'm excited program. about this class. Okay, so here will be the first coupon code. The coupon code we promised. The coupon code okay. is tra Traha Global 100 days, guys. Okay, so go into your um, on your phone because if you play on the computer, you cannot. You have to go on the site. Uh, okay, so Traha Global 100 days. This is the first one. Traha Global 100 day. All there caps. is another one. I repeat, the coupon code is Traha Global 100 day. Amazing. Okay, let's you move on. Return to our regularly scheduled programming. First, we'll be making a change to the requirements for support roles in elite raids. We heard that players are having a hard time hitting the minimum requirements to enter as a healer, so we're lowering the minimum support combat power required to join. But you'll now Okay guys, so the support requirement will be lowered. That means um you won't be such a great healer, but if they lower that, that means what they will do next now only is... Be able to select the role with the staff or bow equipped. Okay, so only the players that have staff and bow will be able to select that role. Because imagine if, let's say, maybe you are an OP player and you have lots of uh, healing power, but you are not built for that, then you cannot heal, even if you have lots of healing. So they will lower, as you can see, it went from 11,000 to 9,700 for Ice Queen, Nipa. But only two classes, okay, two weapons can do that. One is the staff, the other one is the bow. Can uh, Q4, this is R for the, I don't know, if it's for everything, for all the rides or dungeons, we'll see. Hopefully more players with a healing offset will be able to help out their group if they're short a healer. Okay. Next, the ability to change factions will be added. Okay. The system will have some limitations to prevent creating further imbalance. So guys, as you saw, there is an Im imbalance between the factions. Like, uh, usually on uh, our server, uh, the Naiad are <laughs> dominating most of the times. Not all the time, but yeah. So in order to fix that, you'll be able to transfer, let's see. First of all, the number of active, effective players per faction will be calculated more frequently to monitor population balance more closely. Players will Okay, so another thing, able... they will calculate the active players' characters, not, uh, not the alts, okay? So if you have many, plenty alts, 
they won't count those only the ones that you are actually playing okay and the transfer will be available only from the dominant to the weaker faction not the other way around so to balance okay because we need to balance okay so that way uh, there is a chance to balance to the other the weaker faction, faction to make it stronger faction. only a limited amount of players ranked within the top 200 for combat power will be permitted yeah so from so there is also a cap of the top 200 in the ranking cp players okay to be transferred from the stronger to the weaker faction so because if if uh, an uh, unlimited amount will be allowed then the stronger faction will become the weak faction so they don't want that they want to be some balance in there okay so only uh, a specific amount we don't know and there are more stuff to discuss about the balance how it will work okay in the future in the next update okay to transfer to prevent over correction the full details of the faction yeah, so transfer system more. will be explained in the future would you transfer guys As always, yeah, i'm not gonna we've transfer we've got a bunch of other fixes and changes but those details will be in the patch notes yeah so they are more um, like events and other stuff maybe hopefully they will will get new spirit cards new pets and uh, familiar things like that and some really cool rewards i would love to see maybe some new i don't dungeons but we got already <laughs> plenty so maybe not um, i would also to see some new content guys uh, for example new story uh, level cap increase uh, i would like to see uh, i would love to see a pve mode where we they allow us for a specific amount of time to farm on the map farm and get uh, <clears throat> I don't know uh, loot get experience and other stuff so or a map could be a map or dungeon where we could um, farm like say one hour per week or two hours per week or something like that uh, where we can farm on auto auto mode that's what I want to say let's say two hours per week or three hours per week maybe five hours uh, we, we can farm on the either a designated area or we can choose one of the maps that we like but during that time we can auto farm and we drop uh, the mobs will drop loot every mob will drop something plus experience on top of that so that would be nice also <coughs> i would love to see um, more options to customize i know we got costumes they are kind of not so easy to get but i don't know i would like to see more uh, options because my character looks the same almost from the beginning more options to customize the character the gear you know more diverse uh, costumes gears you know so we can look differently uh, like and also option to um, change like select the um, save that uh, specific style and make like a wardrobe uh, we had in uh, another game that I played save the style in there and you can equip your strongest uh, gear or costumes whatever but you can change the styles and choose the styles from there that will be nice and plenty other stuff I would love to see but I'm gonna talk about that in future videos so let me know what else would you like to see and see you soon guys bye